And we're back again in the workshops in Hannover. This is some sample plates that we're going to cover with three different kinds of particles. One is uh, silver bronze, the other is glass, and the third one is the mystery particle one that I got from Nord Chemie by Mr. Schulze. So let's try out those three, then we let it dry and then we make some tests. We're using the binder Albinol by Hausmann. You can use any other binder that is available in your country. Uh, we mix it with water in a relation of one by two and then thoroughly stir in the pigment. With it before mentioned silver bronze, we're gonna do a separate video. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to not miss it. This is the secret ingredient and this is glass. And we're gonna spread the glass on the middle gray one and spread the secret ingredient onto a bright plate and on a dark gray plate. So we have two plate colors. We're gonna try that. Remember, if you do samples like this, cover one of the edges so you can see the difference between painted or not painted. That's important. The technique he's using here is called sprenkeln or sprinkling. And it uses very low pressure, under two atmospheres, and it just applies a thin film of particles onto the surface. So that is, that is without and that's with, so, but it's going to change during the drying process. The aim is to create a very thin film of particles within the binder. The adhesive or binder reflects the stray light away from the audience while the particles reflect the projection directly to the audience. This is a sample of painted fake concrete but it picks up the same amount of stray light that is around in the room. And then we tried some projection paint as I showed you in an earlier video. And as you can see, as soon as we move the plate out of the stray light, it goes dark and we can see the projection and if we move it back into the light, the projection well, gets lost. And this is actually what you want to avoid. As you can see, the projection color just doesn't do the same trick as a specially applied mixture of special things. This is the dark gray that we just painted over with those particles from Nord Chemie. And as you can see, the stray light doesn't really affect this surface because uh, it gets reflected by the binder we're using. And in comparison to the brighter gray, you can see that most of the colors just look more brilliant and more vivid. So you can easily see the difference between painted gray and finished gray. We're just changing the angle and it gets all grainy with the glass and with a new pigment. You don't see the change because it's finer, not so grainy, and it's easier to apply. As usual, I can't really tell you where to buy this new pigment because they just don't sell it yet. But as soon as they sell it, I will link the supplier below in the comments and you can buy it there. If you like those experiments and want to see more of it, just subscribe to this channel and I'll be seeing you next time.